Hello and welcome to episode 25. We are here. It is a fine Thursday evening. How are we, chaps? So tired. <clears throat> and that's the general consensus. Feeling yeah. groovy. I feel quite tired as well. Um, straight into it. Tops, Greg. We Cardiff number there. It's a fine Thursday night. Cardiff City have a crucial relegation tie. Who are they playing again? Rotherham. This is the oh, rearranged yes. fixture after Rotherham. The original game was abandoned after about 50 minutes due to a hailstorm at half time. Rotherham tried to clear the pitch and the groundsman was then filmed pushing the water off the pitch and then dragging it back on again. Like I think I said before, I think that, that video was reversed and you've been tricked. Either way, he pushes it off and drags it back on. So if it's reversed, it's still the same. Um, I am wearing a, a Retro Rangers number, a Nike one. I quite like the Nike tops. I've got a few of the older ones. Bring back the Nike kits. Or the Adidas ones like them. Much better than the, uh, what was it, the Hummel ones or the Castor ones. Yeah. Hell also has a Nike number on. A Roma. Yes, a Roma. Who we'll talk about later. Yes, we will come on to them. So today's focus, we're going to look at the Champions League, so uh, I'll Europa put this League. In. I hate this collar. It's a vile. I like it when it's like that. That's vicious. Yeah. Like the wee, the wee cut, the, the cut, I mean. Uh, Shows too much chest. I've got like a, a fake t-shirt thing going on here on this top. I look like but a like... member of the clergy. <laughs> um... So, like I said, before I was rudely interrupted, the uh, Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League. We're going to talk about that. Uh, going to look a bit at the Prem, the Scottish Premiership, a wee quick preview of the Scottish Cup. And I have made the game for today. Greg is uh, taking responsibility to try and knock Kyle off his throne with his WWE belt there. No comment. Maybe get a younger audience in. But, uh, speaking of audience, keep re watching these because we didn't get enough views last week. Uh, right, I'm watching oh, yeah. uh, yes, like we said last week, the game format is whoever loses the week before makes the quiz. So, me this week, Greg next week, and then me the week after. I'm only joking. I'd, I hope I have faith. I have faith. Next week, not in me tonight. Uh, right. If it gets to the point where I'm just dominating, I'll just I'll take a week off. No, that's not how it works. No. I, I want to make it I want to make it work. And then obviously followed by the predictions. Um right, let's start off. Sorry, I've got my running order here. Um Champions League, quarter final results. So they were as follows. Uh Milan beat Napoli 2 1 on aggregate. It's all on aggregate. Um Real Madrid beat Chelsea 4 0. Um Inter 5-3 against Benfica and Man City 4-1 overall against Arsenal. So that means uh, we're Arsenal. left... What did I say Arsenal? I saw Bayern. Sorry. Arsenal? I don't know. I was, I was, I've got the running order up as well and I was looking at the Arsenal but... Uh, sorry, not Arsenal. Bayern München. Doesn't matter. They're out now anyway. Might as well have been Arsenal for all we can. Um... So that leaves us with our semi-final ties of Real City and a Milan derby to say goodbye to the San Siro. What are we saying? Ballers, pretty ballers. Um, I'll, two good games. Yeah. I'd rather seen Man City Madrid in the final, but not about me. Nah, you can't be a Milan derby. Oh, that'd be a good final. They'd both, could be, both be good finals. Yeah, but no, you but can't... I think... I'll set up a good final with like an Italian team definitely going through. One of the oldest one of the Milan clubs get back to where they used to be. Yeah. Hopefully it's easy. Um Real Madrid in a bit of shaky form got beat by Girona 4 2. I don't want to try and pronounce the noise name, but Castellanos got four. He did. I read that he's actually um so he's on loan there from Man City, he's one of Man City's subsidiaries uh, in the MLS. And he scored, he was top scorer in the MLS last season, I think. And then no one offered the amount of money New York City FC wanted. So they loaned him to Girona, who are also, I believe, part of the Manchester City. They are. Oil tycoon, FFP cheating yeah. band of I was, una- I was unaware that they were in that franchise. 
Yes. So just Palermo. Really? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, they are now. Oh, they are now? Were yeah. Palermo not previously um, the guy who used to own Leeds back in the day? His name is... Jolino. Yes. Uh, I don't... I could not tell you. Also, I don't is care. That... But... Yeah. Kyle uh, Lafferty back is in the day. Why the battle? Is it, yeah, is it... to go, to go back to that, um, he... Basically, he didn't score enough goals. They farmed him out to another club that they own in the hope that a season in the Spanish top flight would mean he'd score more goals and then they'd sell him for more in the summer. And I think four goals against Real Madrid. It's a couple of more million on his price tag, isn't it? Two, right? I read a fun fact as well that it's when he scored his four, it was 10 years to the day that Lewandowski scored four against Madrid. So. Oh. Pretty, pretty poggers, like you say. Just looking here, right? Also, Yokohama F. Marinos is owned as well by the City Group. Ah. I know Ange Postfoglu's old team. Yeah, that's because that rings a bell. Well, you know. Yeah, so that... So, yeah. Uh, you say Real Madrid are in shaky form. The league's gone now. Is it? Very much so. They've got the Copa del Rey final. You know, they might end up third, depending on if this shaky form continues. You know, what ones you prioritise? I mean, I feel that Real Madrid's whole tactic is to prioritise the Champions League over everything else at any point in time ever. They could do a Rangers like last season. Bottle the league, uh, losing a European final and then uh, win the cup. That's a failure. I would say so. I didn't say it was a good thing. <laughs> well, it depends what team you are. If you're like a wee team, then fair enough. Like a, a Harps or Aberdeen. I mean, the Cup's against Osasuna, so you'd expect them to probably win that. Yeah, uh, anything can happen in football, eh? Well, that's correct. Get back to Wickham. Yeah, exactly. Um, obviously, I would also say... Our... Yeah, carry on. No, go for it. Well, it depends. I was going to say, if you're coming on to the Milan Derby, that's what my point's about. So if it is the, the Milan Derby, Derby, carry on. It was. Uh, Milan Derby is another semi-final. Great, take it away. <laughs> I was gonna, the, the one thing I was going to ch- chip in with is that that, that um, could be really important because um, both sides are currently um, in a battle with uh, Kyle's favourite team, Roma, um, for the last Champions League place in Serie A after Juventus were given some points back. Um, mm. So that means, you know, if they don't manage to get there in the league, um, winning the Champions League would also give them that extra Champions League place. Yeah, correct, actually. Um, what was I going to say? So, so five teams happened? that didn't make it off. Is that five teams if one of them won it? I think five Italian teams if... I can't remember. So the, you said last time they've changed all that or something? Yeah, they, they have. Changing. I think they've changed bits of that. From memory, and I could be completely wrong, um, I think five's fine. I think the time when it became... We'll have to take places and redistribute came when there was a possibility that an English team could win both the um, Champions League and the Europa League. Mm-hmm. What's this Someone might be able to remember the year that there was a Liverpool Tottenham final, who won the Europa League? Probably Sevilla. I think so. I work on that. I mean, I know they would do it. It's always Sevilla. Better bottom door. Be I hope so. <laughs> That'd be good. Put UV in their place. UV are being a bit silly, aren't they? But they haven't given points back, so. Yes, they have. For cheating and get rewarded by cheating. And they're probably going to appeal it. Someone's probably going to appeal it again. And this was like only the start of the event, this case. So that's it. So it was Chelsea v Arsenal in the Europa League. Um, Final that year. Ah, yes, I remember that. So, so yeah. it became the case where six teams wouldn't be allowed in the Champions League. It could only be a maximum of five, so then they had to do redistribution. Ah, yeah, it's, if it's the rules. But they've earned it, then. Yeah, it is, but it's, so it's not them that loses out. It's the team that finishes whatever in the league loses exactly. out. But then they've earned it, and that's not fair to them. Have they, though? Well, unless it's Spurs, then fair play. Uh, right, so who do we think is going through then? Both legs. 
Uh, uh, I'm, I'm my money's still in City. I think they can beat them. No, I think Madrid's going through that one. I think City, City just look like some behemoth that's just going to win everything. Yeah, I think City. I think Madrid really? are different, different gravy in Europe. Though. They are, but if they've got all their eggs in one basket with having bought the league, then maybe the nerves might get to them. I don't know. Know. What about the Milan derby? What do we think? I think that's see. a toss up. Yeah, I'll see. I, see. Think I could see that going to penalties. Um, I, I don't know. I think. I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying easy because they beat Napoli who are harder. True, but I think Inter have been playing well in Europe. Now. It depends. Like it could come down to Lukaku. That would be fun. But he's not good enough for Chelsea. <laughs> Anyone who says that, if there's one player who would improve the Chelsea team at this moment in time, Romelu Lukaku is right up there. I'm mm. pretty sure you, when we, did, we had that discussion about the squad depth, you slated him. Because I made that point. I said he's tearing it up and you were like, no. I think we might need to... Yeah, yeah, we might need that to one. That. <laughs> we might need to review we'll that, that but yeah. next week's episode. Chelsea could really do with him. I'd Chelsea probably are going to end up with him in the summer. He's still their player, aren't he? So. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Inter can't afford to keep him. Do you know what the what the like the buy clause is? Or... I don't think there is one because uh, even then Inter won't activate it because they can't afford to keep him. Yeah. And I think they've also said they don't want to. If they won the Champions League, then you could buy someone else. <laughs> There are, and I think we'll probably go on to this when we inevitably talk about transfers in the summer. And for a few years now, there has been a lack of number nines, like proper number nine strikers. In terms of who is top world class, there's just a lack of world class strikers out there. Oh, there's as many names nowadays. Yeah, but Bar- Bar- Lewandowski, I would say that's the only one that really came Lewandowski, out Lewandowski, Haaland. That's about it. Jamie Vardy. He goes like Hal- Halland and Mitrovic. <laughs> That's like the, the gap. Alex Izak. Rudy Payton. Payton. <laughs> you beat me too. I, got there, I got there first. Um, we need to view on that one. Uh, yeah, what so we're saying we're kind of split on that one. I, I think City, Greg thinks City, Kel thinks Real keep taking another crown. We should take notes to see who comes closest. Yeah, we could do. Uh, I don't know. nearby, but it's okay. I'm sure we'll be afterwards. Gregory can be scribed for the day. And uh, I'm going to go Inter just because you said Milan because I couldn't decide. I'm going to be a Milan club in the final. Ooh. Ooh, I meant AC. I just prefer AC as Milan. I mean, I, I genuinely don't know. I'm going to pick Inter, but I have no idea. So you're saying the same? Yeah. Yes. Bone wolf. Uh, let's go down to the Europa League. Um, Quarter final results were as, as follows Roma beat Fire on 4 1. Uh, Union got beat 4 1 by Bayer Leverkusen. Um, big result that uh, some people we know weren't very happy about. Sevilla. 1-5-2 overall. No, sorry. I said Leverkusen won 4-1. It was 5-2 in aggregate. Uh, Sevilla 5-2 in aggregate. Sporting two, lost 2-1 two, to Juventus in aggregate. Yes, they did. And I don't know if um, I read that right, but Roma won 4-2 in aggregate. I can't remember if I read that right. Anyway, team we've gone through are uh, Roma, Leverkusen, Sevilla and Juventus. Roma versus Leverkusen and Juventus versus Sevilla. Sevilla being experts in this competition. Yes. Yeah. They are. Uh, but they no longer have the man who is the expert in that competition in Unai Emery. True. He's in Villa. Yeah, so if anyone wants to put money on Villa winning the Europa League next year. They'd qualify first. I mean, they're not completely far away. Considering the where they were when Gerard left. That's something, that's something to keep in mind. 
It has. So it's like, um, it's like having a good manager does stuff, good things for you. I, I would also say, um, you did say that some people we know were not happy with the Manchester United being beat 3-0 in Seville. Me and Kyle were notably not either of those people. We very much enjoyed it. I, I was... It's funny. I'm very funny. taking a neutral view. Yeah, I thought that. Um, Jose Mourinho obviously hoping to win the Europa League this year after they won the conference last year. Yes. That game was mental, by the way. If no one knows exactly what happened, um, Roma, it was kind of 1-1 going to extra time, Feyenoord score with 10 minutes to go, and then uh, to take it to extra time again, Paolo Dybala pops up with a minute left in normal time, and then Roma score two in extra time. Really kind of Jose Mourinho loved every minute of extra time. I hope he did a wee knee slide like he did for Chelsea back in the day. Don't think he did that. I think he's much. I think he's slightly calmer these days. I think he's more of a man these days. That's not good. I, w- I want. I want all the pattern. The young team pattern. Uh, and good then a team we just made reference to: uh, Juventus versus Sevilla. Yes. You you in hot water as we've discussed. Yeah, I hope Sevilla win. I think they will. I don't think they will. Oh, there's that one. Oh, well, don't run that. So I'm, I'm going. I've, I've wrote that down. Uh, and then in the other semi final, um, Roma face Xavi Alonso's Bayern Leverkusen. I think they're going to be a Leverkusen job. You're going for Leverkusen. I'm going to disagree with you again and go with Roma because it's Jose. Uh, the hell the German teams. A German team won it last year in Frankfurt. We won't talk about the final because I was talking about it with someone earlier and I got a bit upset. Um, so the I meant to go back actually. The Champions League finals in Istanbul this year, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, After it being finals. moved again last year, because it's meant to be in Istanbul since about 2020, and they've had to move it due to COVID yeah. every time. Budapest for the Europa League final, apparently. And the push I was going to say Liverpool might have won the Champions League last year had it been in Istanbul. It was in Paris, so there you go. Yeah, and what a, a shambles that was, much like the one in Sevilla. Where's the, where's the conference the, held? Oh, it was in... Last year it was in Albania, I believe. Right. Yeah, it's in really, it's in really weird places but in, with really small stadiums. Uh, yeah, I think it's to is, try and promote football. Gary Meadow back next year. <laughs> uh, Czech Republic this year, Prague. That's not, that's not normal. Yeah, that's a bit the, more. The Eden Arena. Which one's that? That's not the Sparta Stadium. That's, I I went to the Sparta Stadium when I went to Prague. Actually, went for a wee look. It'll, it'll be, probably be. It'll probably be. Slavia. Slavia. Stadium, I'd um, well, I don't know. Do they play in a small ground as well? It's probably going to be the one the Czech Republic national team play at. Unless it's changed, but they used to play at the Sparta one. Uh, it is Slavia who play at the Eden Arena. There you go. 19,000 capacity. Lovely. I'm sure, that, I'm, sure if, I'm sure if they get there, the Roma and Juventus Ultras will not have any problems outside a um, stadium with 19,000 capacity. It's an absolute joke. I don't care if it's the third... The third highest competitions should have a higher attendance than 19,000. Oh, shit. It's, it's, it's the European final. There's going to be a lot of people in. I suppose. I suppose also, I've also just said Juventus, Roma, Ultras. I'm completely wrong. That's the Conference League final. I'm sure the Juventus and Roma Ultras will have absolutely great fun in Hungary. Good. I hope they enjoy themselves. If we get some souvenirs for their parents, I hope they get to your guest. Well, that was a interesting. Not story. really. Morbid. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, yeah, I jumped a bit farther. Right, let's go to the co- wait. What do we say? We've done Europa League conference. Yeah. Right, we need to the conference league. Uh, Fiorentina six four on aggregate against Leg Poznan. Uh, Is it Alkmaar? 
won on penalties against Anderlecht. Uh, West Ham convincingly 5-2 against Ghent and Basel 4-3 against Nice. Good result for them. Definitely. Nice result. He said Alvar uh, notably putting out the United at the start of the season. After Not losing in Tanadice. Yes, to a Glenn Middleton goal. We spoke about this the other week. We did. I'm having deja vu. And Fiorentino uh, of beating Hearts in the yes. group stages as well. Yes. Let, Look, notably, uh, let Poznan win 3 2 in that game. However, it was 6 4 in aggregate. Yeah. Um, I was also going to say the, con- the idea of the Conference League is to try and give teams from smaller nations a chance. And you can kind of see that there. You've kind of got, I know AZ Almar are Dutch and they are maybe, you know, six or seven, depending on where you rank Portugal in terms of big leagues. But, you know, it's nice to see a Basel getting quite far in that tournament. I know they're yeah. quite a big side, but the Swiss leagues, you know, not right up there. Ha- had Rangers or Celtic, you know. Right. It, it's, quite, it's quite a disappointment that being in the Champions League for Rangers and Celtic means they get, you know, Finishing fourth in the Champions League gets them punted completely out because, you know, no offence to Rangers, but I reckon they, you know, might do all right in the Conference League, probably get to the final. Well, we'll see you next year. You never know what happens. There's a um, good standard of teams as well. It's not they're, they're crap, they're actually decent teams. Yeah. Yeah, you have kind of Pozna in there who are fairly decent. If you look at the round before, there's kind of even more teams in there who are kind of from smaller nations. That have got kind of dumped out, you know. Um, West Ham played a separate team in the round of 16, I believe. But you lost. My <laughs> dignity. <laughs> My pen. <laughs> Sorry, but, um, I hope West Ham win it there. I've said it. I hope Basel win it. Uh, I, I forgot. Boom, boom. Bit with him. Um, I'm going to um, go for yeah. Alkmaar beating the Dundee boys. You're going for Alkmaar? Right. I hope Basel win it. I don't think they will. I'm going to go West Ham and uh, West Ham Basel final. I'm going for a West Ham Fiorentina final. Robert, you also need to give me some Europa League predictions because you didn't. Oh. Um. What did I not do? Uh, no, I said uh, no. Then I'm going to go uh, Leverkusen. No, mm, no, nah, I'm going to go Leverkusen and Sevilla. Lovely, Kyle. What is your Conference League prediction? It will be Fiorentina, Az, Alkmaar. Lovely. So I think the summary on that is that me and Kyle agree on absolutely nothing. Sounds about right, really. Wouldn't have any other way. So, yeah, that kind of brings us to an end of uh, that segment. Um, Some interesting ties to look forward to, to say the least, I think. Yes, before we move on, here's the question, because I think people have debated this quite a few times. It's maybe slightly more unlikely now, but if you're West Ham, would you win the Conference League if it meant you getting relegated? Yeah. I would, I would say so. I think it depends if they could keep the squad together. Like, I know you can't answer that, but, you know, if they get relegated, I'll, I'll worry for them because there's a lot of players on that side who aren't going to stay. They might because they've got European football next season in the Europa League, so they might stay for that. But think about it, you'll probably you'll play a lot more games in the Championship as well. You're you're probably because because you play that many more games in the championship. You're probably going to be playing some weeks Tuesday and Thursday night. That'd be pretty pretty rancid actually. When it comes to mid season, or even worse, you'd be playing uh, Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday. You know, repeatedly and in the championship. They're professional footballers. They get paid enough. Does they get paid for their jobs? But in the in the championship, you're going to struggle. Didn't care. I've got about three, you know, we've got three days in a row. Okay, if you know. they get relegated, though, Declan Rice is off. Paqueta is probably off. I'll also probably go. Bowen, probably. Then we'll see Fernals' goal. 
Yeah, no, a lot of fans pay for scorpion kick, but you know. That's was a good. proper scorpion kick. It was a proper scorpion kick. It was a bit of a scuff at the same time, but it's still went in. Like he did the whole like, anime. I'll need to watch it again. I was watching it, I was like, what the hell is that? And was, and that's a scorpion kick. Right, will we move on? Yeah. I think so. Right, um, we're recording this on Thursday night, as I said. I'll be going uh, live tomorrow at, at midday, as always. Um, just to be side note, actually, episode 23 didn't upload to Spotify, even though we tried and tried, so God knows, you're just going to have to have that exclusively on YouTube. But episode 24 uploaded fine, so yeah, it's just a little blip. Technology's all well and good until it stops working, eh? Yes. Anyway, anyway, right. Speaking of not working, Arsenal, the league's collapsing. Uh, I, were... I would say it's collapsed. It's still top. Uh, yeah. Just. Only just. The bottom is really cracked. Thursday night tonight. Last night was Wednesday night, if you don't know your days. Uh, I'm sure Kyle will be wearing his Monday socks as we speak. Monday socks on. So have them. Oh, I I could we don't want to say... Easy. You won't be seeing I've got my two news this month. That's that's on the Patreon uh, exclusive. You have to pay for that content. Um, right. I think it's on Patreon and night. not only fans. What could doing that? No, no we're, a, we're a podcast. Sensible. Just because you keep making inappropriate, inappropriate comments. Going to get us, going to get us, uh, what's the kid say, cancelled. I thought you were going to say demonetized. I thought you were going to tell me it was demonetized. And we don't get any no, money anyway. Enough. We don't have enough followers or views for that yet, so uh, I'll no. keep that argument for later on. If you, if you subscribe and like us and tell your pals, I might be able to get us demonetized. And then the money will be coming out of his pocket. <laughs> well, it, nothing. You'll, you'll right. get kicked. Yeah, yeah, right, guys, I want, I want this video to get uh, 80 views, and I want us to get to 30 subscribers by next week. How many are we on now? 21. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're, we're still done a bit. Oh, well, you know what? It's good fun and I enjoy it. So, yeah. Get it around though. Right. Um, as I said, 4 1 City last night. We down to two points and City have two games in hand. That's their, just your, your bonus ball there. Yeah. I did read, and I can't remember who said it, but someone who knows absolutely nothing about what they're talking about seemed to decide that Man City had a tougher run in. Yeah, really? I don't know. I've, never seen, I've not seen the fixtures. Despite the fact that Arsenal still have to play, and I know it's Chelsea and they're not doing very well, but they still have to play Chelsea, and that's a London derby with a lot of kind of weight attached to it. And Chelsea will be desperate if they're going to win any game to win that game. They've also to go to St James's Park. I think City's toughest game is Brighton, well, who have run out of steam a bit. Yeah, hmm. well, they're unlucky. They were unlucky against Man United. Solly March. That, that's Solly March trying to recreate the penalty from earlier on in the season that he also missed. Did that not knock them out of the League Cup? Yeah, I'm sure. Exact, yeah. Same, exact same place. Wembley. Um, Arsenal's it. remaining fixtures are Chelsea at home, Newcastle away, Brighton at home, Forest away, and Wolves at home. They're all hard games. Manchester City have to play. Fulham away, West Ham at home, Leeds at home, uh, Real Madrid obviously, Everton away, Real Madrid again, Chelsea at home, Brighton away, Brentford away. But, See, the thing is though, right, yeah. back in the day maybe some of them would have been viewed as, viewed as easy fixtures, but I don't think there's any easy game in the Premiership now. There's like, there's no, it's, there's no such consistency that there used to be. It's uh, kind of anyone's game at the minute. Yeah, that's true. I was going to say... When you look, look at the likes of Brighton and Brentford, sorry. No, it's continue. Jump after. No, that's what I was going to say. Just making a point. I was going to say, they've got the Champions League, so I might tire them out, slow them down. Distractions. But when you've got him, when you've got Haaland running about like that, it doesn't it, square up again. I've just seen their 30, not far off it. 33 goals in 38 games this season. Well, Sorry, I missed most of that conversation because I've just realised Cardiff have missed another penalty. That's fine. You just... Yeah, it's fine. We'll take over this week. I'll be kicking. 
He's the, he's the host of Canada. <laughs> I'll end this meeting for all. Well, yeah, you get half an believe... episode this week. <laughs> On a complete segue, Cardiff, I believe, have missed something like 60% of their penalties this season, which is ridiculous. Bet they're all the same taker. No, because they kept changing them. Then Kaba, who they signed in January, scored one the other week. And I just seen on Twitter folk going, Oh, we finally signed somebody who can score a penalty. He's took two since then and missed them both. Shiojo playing. Uh, I think Shiojo is playing. So have, you seen, have you seen he's that, he's that rapper guy? Is he that yeah, rapper guy? That D-D-D. explains why he's on the bench. Apparently, he's the new front runner for that. Yeah, he's not Jesse that. Lingard anymore. There's a mask. A masked rapper who's a, a, a professional footballer but going under a disguise. Uh, it turns out they're going to go on ITV about Christmas and that's going to be the new series. So I was in KN or it's Ojo because of the hair and tattoos. Right. Uh, right. Addressing. So I think Greg's kind of point's already been made, but who's going to win the league? He's <laughs> still happy with City? Yes. I think it should change. Oh. I'm still by it. That's not my Arsenal. I'm still, I'm still hope Arsenal win it. There's still, there's still hope. I hope there's, there's a. There's hope. There's hope and there's reality. I hope it's a, a Kuniguero moment. The ball gets whipped at the, at the box last minute, and Rob Holding is there to <laughs> smash it. <in. laughs> but like he did last night to make it slightly less embarrassing. Yes, exactly. He is the 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 savior. Some would say. I mean, I would also say that if if we're taking a turning point in the title race here, Rob Holding having to play because there's no Saliba has weirdly he... coincided with Arsenal's poor run of form. I bet he did have a cool chant. Rob Holding, I mean. Like Saliba. We are fucking shit. That's the one that goes with Rob Holding. He's not a we, he's a... I was going to say that's the completely wrong tense. He's not a plural. He's... It's what our, I was talking about the team, not Rob Holding. The team, team. the team seemed to turn to shit when Rob Holding is playing. He scored last night, so take that back. He also conceded four goals. No. He was in goals. Uh, we, they all dream of a team of Rob Holdings, but that's not, it's not possible. What about Ben? Well, we kind of gave our views on that. I don't think there's really much more to say. Uh, the proof will be in the pudding come the end of the season, and we'll discuss that. I'm I'm sure about it. Let's go. Uh, like a phrase I like saying, north of the border, um, SPFL. The SPL. It's it's not really referred to as the SPL now, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, the split fixtures have been announced. Five games to go. Uh, Celtic on co- on course to win the title at Tynecastle if they pick up three points. Do you think they'll do it at Tynecastle? Yes. I think it's the well. When so? This weekend? No, it's the old farm this weekend. In the, in the Scottish Cup. Which is nice. that, but... uh, um, probably. Weekend after. Yeah. I, I think they'll do it. It means they will, they will go to Ibrox as champions if they do. Guard of Honour? Guard of Honour? Uh, Anyone? I can't see it happening. It should. It's just nice. It should, but... yeah. Oh, it's nice. It's, it's nice. <laughs> it's... As I, I bet you every Celtic player, Callum McGregor's dream is to walk out as at Ibrox with simply the best playing and him to get a guard of honour. Um, another point I've put, uh, Aberdeen obviously beating Rangers 2-0. On Sunday, can they hang on to third place? I think they will. I think they'll finish third. Yeah, they've got a five-point margin now because Hearts have lost, what, four in a row? Many. Yeah, they, they've kind of dwindled out Hearts. Sorry, no. Hearts won last weekend. Hearts have... <coughs> they, yeah, they thumped, they thumped Ross County. I don't know how I mucked that up. No, um, no, no that's still... Hearts have lost in a row before they beat Ross County. Oh, okay. In the grand scheme of things, one win in five isn't that good. Well, Lim Craig Gordon sneeze. She's superhuman because he was back uh, training in, in a month. In the Lakers, the other leg. The, the, the other thing is, obviously, Hearts have a derby on the final day, and that's not really what you want. Are Sky going to televise this one? No, they're t- televising the trophy celebration at uh, Celtic Park. Quite right. But also, uh, notably, when we're talking about the split fixtures, 
televising absolutely nothing in the bottom half of the league, which is a disgrace. Do you say I watch Aber- not Aberdeen, Dundee United v Kilmarnock? Anyone who, can, who cares about the relegation battle, me. I would have quite enjoyed watching it also. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Literally, all, all four teams at the bottom now have to play each other, and that's really interesting. That sort of works, yeah. So the teams but at the top. I, but as usual, Sky don't care about Scottish football and inte- instead are going to continue to show Celtic games when the title's been already won. I won you. Mike Butler. I hope so. I doubt it. Well, my boy can dream. Um... But yeah, you've kind of already referenced that relegation <laughs> battle ongoing. Looks like Ross County now four County points adrift. Down, I think they'll go down. Remember Wagner, oh. Dundee United is <laughs> going down. <laughs> Find that that was funny. Yeah, they've won three wins in a row since, which means my hopes of a Dundee derby that Sky will not televise next year uh, are more likely. That sounds about right. Um, I saw Who's me doing Kelly are going down with Ross County. I'm Red not teams. sure whoever wins Ooh. the championship. Sorry, whoever wins the championship like playoffs, whoever plays the premiership team, I don't think they'll go up. Answer is. I don't think any team in the championship's good enough. You could for a Kelly or Derby again. Mm. Whoever wins the Premier League, in the Premier League, whoever wins the Championship is probably going straight back down. Hold on. There you go, there's a hot take. We'll hold you at that one. Yes, you will. See that for the start of the season. Yes. We'll do it at the start of the season. We'll do our predictions. As stated, uh, it's Scottish Cup final weekend. uh, Semi final weekend. What did I say? Final. Yeah, I'm not yet, mate. We're, off, we're just full of mistakes today. He's just yeah, dreaming okay. that the Rangers get to the final because they're probably not going to. That's it, Clubs. Thanks. Listen, I'm human. I'll make a mistake. I don't care. Um, oh, we'll go. Hawkirk versus Inverness, first of all, on Saturday. Uh, good for both teams to get to the semi final, let's be honest. Both teams outside the Premiership. Who do we think is going through? Inverness. I mean, I think they will, but imagine Falkirk getting a Scottish Cup final. I, seems, I was at the Rangers uh, Falkirk Scottish Cup final in 09, I think it was. Must have been. It wasn't 08. Yeah, well, it was Queens. I think it was the year after. I'm sure it was 09. Um, yeah. The, I think the Falkirk. I hope it's Inverness. Yeah, I just I think, think it was I things will be cup set. Yeah. Well, one of them was going through. I don't know if anyone's um, seen on Twitter um, talk that um, Falkirk and Inverness have both had to have UEFA licences for their stadiums approved for next season, just in case they win the cup. Oh. I don't know. This one would be because they're ex-Pemership stadiums. But... Yeah, well, they have to get a new one. So apparently St Mirren also did it at the same time and got told, no, you have to wait until you finish fifth or whatever it is to get your licence, which I don't completely understand. Remember, they've not played in Europe before. Have I made that up? Yeah, they have. I'm sure they have. I'll be ever so often. Yeah, no, when they won the Scottish Cup. Yeah. So at least they played a qualifier. Yeah. Oh, played at uh, Airdrie Stadium. Yeah, rough. Everyone else. How do you do have one? Because their stadium's really new. Just got a bank. Get that one. So is Meadowbank. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the Sunday is the old farm Rangers versus Celtic. Uh, what do you think? I know what Greg thinks. Kyle, okay, what do you think? See, maybe being a bit more different. Maybe uh, Rangers might believe it's not the league. Let's go for it. Got nothing Kevin to Clancy, lose. Kevin Clancy's not referee in this one. Thank God. If it's a if it's a re- re- replay of last year, Rangers. One on in extra time. Remember, it was and it's after they've been in extra time in Europe as well. So, I like that. I think it'll be Rangers win. Maybe extra time. Uh, I think Rangers might just nick it. I hope so. That's what I'm going with. Um, 
Yes, we're, yes, we're coming on to that. Right, let's go to the game because we're, we're getting on a bit. Um, right, so I prepared the game this week. Yes, you have. Uh, yes, yeah, so if there's any hiccups and go by the mistakes I made today, there probably will be. Yeah, just cut me some slack, eh? No, um, I'm just going to storm off like you did. No, you were you won't be cheated out of it like I was. Uh, I'm going to make sure the noises work. It. If there's a correct answer, you'll hear a. <laughs> Did we all hear that? No. Yeah. No. You're going to give me a straight answer. Yes. yes. Right. If there's an incorrect answer, you'll hear a. <laughs> and my favourite button is. What's the goalie doing, Tom? What's the goalie doing? I was at that game, funnily enough. We might get to see some more of that at the weekend. Uh, let's hope not. And then obviously. We're... If someone's taking their time. Clock is ticking. I'm going to have to dash you. Ooh, time. Ooh, time. Right, there we go. I think that's about... Right, so I, we stuck with the same format. Um, take it in terms to answer. Incorrect answer. Loses the point. So, pass your minds back. We'll do a bit of a story. Cast your mind back. It is the 21st of May 2008 in Russia. Oh, Christ. Manchester United versus Chelsea in the Champions League final. I want you yeah. to name the 22 players that started the game. Not the substitutes, the players. From That's not what I thought was going. I thought we were going to Rangers in it for some reason. Which is in Manchester. I just knew you were going. I thought, I don't know. Yeah. Manchester United versus Chelsea. Any player that started is in the starting 11, not on the bench. I'm going to screw this up straight away, aren't I? Right, Greg being challenger, you can go first. Here we go. Let's start with John Terry and see if he wasn't on the bench. Correct. Thank yeah. Lord. Ronaldo. Done. Wayne Rooney. Van der Sar. Petr Cech. Double D, drop ball. Frank Lampard. Nilko. <laughs> Poo. Can I try Jose Basingua? And I don't know why I think that. I think he was at Chelsea much later than that. No, thank you, Poo. <laughs> The teams were, and for Manchester United, as stated, Edwin van der Sar, Wes Brown, Rio Ferdinand, Nemanja Vidic, Patrice Vieira, Vieira, sorry. The fuck? Yeah. Owen Hargreaves, Paul Scholes, Michael Carrick, Cristiano Ronaldo, Carlos Tevez, and Wayne Rooney. Then Per Cech, Michael Essien, Ricardo Carvalho, John Terry, Ashley Cole, Michael Ballack, is it Claude McAuley? Mm -hmm. Frank yeah. Lampard, Joe Cole, Didier Drogba, and Florent Molder. I had a couple left in me. I had Paul Scholes left up my sleeve. I had Wes Brown. Well, my, thought, my thoughts was that you would go for these ones first and then you'd get to the likes of Maluda and uh, McAuley and think, oh no, I, I wouldn't guess Hargreaves. I remember him with the trophy. Well, I thought he was on the bench. Right. 1-0 Gregory. That's going to only go down hell. It's a good start though. I usually only win it in the second one. Right. I feel nervous now. I've got something to hold on to. Can I time waste? Can I be like Motherwell at Celtic Park? Hopefully you will let you hold your pen. <laughs> right. The second round is uh, from I'm going from 1990 onwards to the current day. Oh, Christ. Uh, list of men's Ballon d'Or winners. Oh, Christ. When? List of Ballon d'Or winners. No, from when? 1990 onwards. Mm -hmm. Christ. So, anyone who's won it between 1990 and now? Benzema. Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi. And now I'm going to have to think. There will be three or four, so... The Ballon d'Or is not up my street. I'm just going to... Yeah. Clock is ticking. I'm going to have to rush you. I'll happily sit there. Mbappe, because I, my mind's gone blank. Modric. Yeah. 
Yeah, yes. Cologne, pa- Pavel Nedved, Ronaldinho, Ronaldo. My so, mind went completely blank. Right, going from 1990 onwards, uh, Matthias, uh, Jean-Pierre Papin, Marco Van Basten, Roberto Baggio. Right, I'm going to butcher this one. Is it Fisto? Stoichkov. Stoichkov, yeah. George Weah, your favourite, Greg. Shit. Uh, Matthias Samar, uh, R9, as Kyle said. Uh, Zidane, Rivaldo, Figo, Owen, uh, Neved, Shevchenko, Ronaldinho, Cannavaro, Kaka, and then obviously... Uh, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Modric. It wasn't awarded in 2020. I was going to ask that, but I just left it. It was going. I think it was going to Lewandowski, but it never probably should it. have been. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed out Modric in 2018, and then yeah. Karim Benzema in 2022. Yeah, I blanked. I should have got quite a few of those. What's the goalie doing, Tom? What's the goalie doing? Oh wait, no. Oh, it's an equaliser. <laughs> Right, Christ. this one's a bit more, a bit more recent. Good. I'm going for the same format as the first as the first round. There's 22 answers. Start in 11s, right? Start in the 11s from the Scotland two Spain nil game. Oh, lovely. Now I thought I thought you will okay with the Scotland team. I think, but maybe some of the Spain ones I thought you might mess up on. But here we go. Right. Who lost the last round? Oh, so it Brilliant. should be me. Yeah. Rodri. Right. Tommy. John again. The irony. Andrew Robertson. Ryan Portis. You know Newcastle, by the way. What? It's hard. Thanks. You know Newcastle. That great news. Hustle. Stolen. <laughs> I just wanted to stall for. I said hustle. Crazy. I go for Che Adams. I think he won it. Clean. I've lost. Was Kepa, was Kepa the goalie? I what couldn't remember it? that. The, the other one I had up my sleeve. Oh, well. um... Greg, you ready? Oh, yes! If you don't know the answers to that question, <laughs> then I think you, 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 are, you are an ostrich. Congratulations, Greg, you've uh, taken the crown. Although, if you, that that back, much... if you wind that back, you look like you're about to start crying in that last round. <laughs> Winning that with Hossel is the highlight of anything I've ever done in my life. Right, I'll give you the answers. Angus Gunn. Oh, that's his name. Pedro I'm just going to go start names. Man I, Pedro, Pedro Porro was the man I was looking like I was crying when I was trying to remember his name. Gunn, Porteous, Hanley, Tierney, Hickey, McTominay, McGregor, Mc, uh, Robertson, McGinn, Dykes, Christie, and then uh, Kepa, Porro, Garcia, Martinez, Gaia, Salabos. So, so I don't know. Rodri, Marino, Pino, Hoslu, and Orizabal. Wait, Orizabal played that game? Christ. Oh, yes, he did. Well, he did nothing. Like most of the Spain team. Well, I hope you enjoyed my rounds this week. I quite enjoyed that. So, I very much uh, enjoyed them. I will be taking on uh, Greg next week, and Kyle's cocky this earlier on. I'm glad he's had eat his words. So cocky. I'll come back. Hey, Robert, if one of us keeps winning, does that mean that you know I can eventually take a break if I keep winning? Yes, correct. After some like of this cockiness earlier on. No. Right, uh, right uh, good. It's all gone quiet that. over there. I hope you've, chin- you've been shouting the answers at home. That was a good it's one. Right. just a stupid thing. Where's the Where's belt? Where's your title Get it in the gone? Post. Where's your title gone? Get the belt <laughs> in the post. My can broke. Right, let's go on the predictions. No. Yes. Sorry, I'm still elated from winning the game. My nerves are still up there, so I'm going to make a billion mistakes. Sorry, um, after that, that, I wasn't even competing. Yeah, last week... Um, wait, Craig, before we 
before we go on, we'll put the disco lights on for you. Yes, please. Woo! I might have to get a Welsh flag out for oh, the one this time. <laughs> not my makeover. That's awful embarrassing. It does. That's, um, what I get for, that's what I get for putting the disco lights on. You know, I'm not telling you that. These, these were cheaper than Parkheads. Did you say three now? Yeah, but I'm not telling you that because you're being too arrogant. Delightful. Can you send me the card to score while you're at it? Give me a minute. That I think it's still one hopefully. Hope it's fucking 75 nil. To Rotherham. Yeah. Can't find it. That's 1-1. One, one. Still 1-1. One, one. Um, yes, so last week um, there was some mixed results um, as I ended up with three points after predicting that Inverness and Dundee would draw, FC Edinburgh and Kelty would draw, and that Braintree would beat East Brompara. Robert got two points for also predicting that Inverness would draw with Dundee and that Hamilton would draw with Partick. Kyle got three points, the same as me, by predicting Hibbs's uh, draw at McDermott Park, that Brecon would secure the Highland League title with a win at Bucky, and that Braintree would beat Eastbourne as well as me. This week it is my pick of the games, so we have the two Scottish Cup semi-finals first, and then the kind of usual two wild cards at the end, and the usual format between that. First one is Saturday Scottish Cup final between Falkirk and Inverness. Falkirk come into the game with a 4-1 win against Alaba and are guaranteed second place in League One. Inverness are up to third in their playoff push, but only have one game left to play. We've already kind of said who we think are going to win, so I'll reiterate the fact that I think it'll be Inverness. In good form. I'm saying Falkirk. My heart's saying Falkirk, but at the same time, I think it could be close. So I was going to go and draw, but I think I'm going to go with Falkirk because that was my gut. Falkirk. Second uh, Scottish Cup semi-final is the Old Firm. Celtic come into after dropping points at home against Motherwell, while Rangers lost at Pataudry, which Robert conveniently chose to not put in the running order. I know, I mentioned it. Mm, not enough. I, I, had to just, I sat and watched it every single second of it, so I'd, I don't need to bring it up again. Right, yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm going Rangers. You're going Rangers. I'm going Celtic. I like a draw. You think it'll be extra time? Rangers to win penalties extra time, whatever. Yeah. Uh, into the Scottish Championship. Uh, first game is Morton v Queen's Park. Queen's Park play after Dundee in the battle for the title and are currently a point behind. They drew it here last Friday, while Morton are still in a, with a shout of the playoffs and won 1 0 versus Wraith. For those following the title battle in the Championship, uh, Dundee at play bottom side Cove this weekend. Uh, I am going for a draw. I think Queen's Park will slip up again. I'm going for Queen's Park. Morton. Morton for Kyle. Other game in the Championship, Partick VR Broth. Implications at the top and the bottom are both only three points above Hamilton and Cove in 9th and 10th. Partick could also still mathematically win the title, but are a massive long shot after they drew with Hamilton at the weekend. I'm going... Partick for me. Partick as well. Over Patrick. Patrick. Three for Partick. Uh, into League One, first game, Kelsey versus Peterhead. Peterhead will go down this weekend, unless they win. They also need Clyde to fail to win against Dunfermline. Kelty have nothing to play for, but are without a win in nine games. Um, I'm going to go Since they scudded Queen's three now I'm going to go Kelty to send Peter Heed Doon I'm going with a draw which will still yeah. send Peter Heed Doon I was thinking a draw as well Draw as well for Kyle uh, Other game in League One is Montrose v Alloa Alloa's pushed for third to complete with their loss to Falkirk Airdrie in the driving seat and have a better goal difference Montrose have won two in a row and a win will keep them in with a shout of taking fourth spot off Alloa they need a swing of seven in goal difference as well. I don't think they'll get it. I think their playoff hopes will end this weekend and Aloha will win that game. Bro. Oh, yeah, I'm going for uh, Montrose. You're going for Montrose. Uh, into League Two, first game is Annan v Bonnyrigg. Annan looking to secure a playoff spot. Bonnyrigg still have one of three teams separated by three points at the bottom. Their win against Forfar at the weekend gave them hope. An Athletic. I'm going for draw. For the Galabankies. Uh, other game in League 2 is East Fife v Albion. Albion are at the bottom of the pile of those three teams at the bottom and kept themselves alive 
with a win against Steno Smear. East Fife are look, looking to secure their playoff spot. Three points separates fourth, fifth, and sixth. East Fife for me. Fife men for me also. Fifers. Three for the Fifers. Uh, next game is from the Pyramid Playoff. It's the Spartans versus Breakin. Uh, Highland League champions away to the Lowland League champions in the first leg. Held AC. in Edinburgh. Held in Edinburgh. The match will be held at the Park with the Hedge in the second leg. Um, Even the facts. No, just. No. no they both won the league. That should be enough. Yeah. I'm going for a draw to set up a tense second leg. I'm going for a win for the um, Spartans. To think. I regret not saying a Spartans win now. Now I've remembered the difference in quality between the Highland and Lowland League. I think I'm going to go for Spartans. Spartans. We can well. have been playing well, but Spartans have been also been playing well. Like you say, there's a kind of jump, a, but that could be a jump there. We could be uh, proved wrong, so we could. Hopefully, oh, you both are. Last game is Newcastle. Um, I mean, oh, four-one Newcastle. Yeah. Christ. And um, last game is in Serie A. It is Kyle's top Roma versus AC Milan, aforementioned in this episode. After Juventus's points have been restored, this game is now a battle for fourth rather than third. But there are still seven games to go. Milan and Roma are on the same points. They're also on the same goal difference, though I've since checked that it's head to head in Serie A, so it makes no difference. Me, I'm going for the Rosinieri. So you're not backing the team on your top? No. I'm going for a draw. I'm going to see the one as well. I predicted half of these games will be draws. That's terrible. Uh, yeah, that's that is terrible. the end of the for this week. Thank you, Greg. And that brings us to an end. Uh, that's been episode 25. Um, yeah, we're on, on the road to episode 30. We're hoping to possibly get some guests on in the not-so-far future, but we will update you on that as it goes. Like I said, apologies about episode 23 on Spotify. God knows what's happened. But we move, we move. Uh, this will be... We'll be watching this after 12 o'clock on Friday, so hope you're enjoying it. Um, Please, if you're watching it, like and subscribe. Please subscribe because we've got a lot of people coming back to watch but not actually subscribing. So it would help with our stats and that. You know, Just a like. You know, like's cool. Help, 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 some, help some good guys out. I mean. And yeah. Greg. Every like is a, Greg, a hair on Greg's head. Please, I need likes. <laughs> please. I've like, well, only got, had about two likes. Right, so uh, tune in next week and Greg will hopefully find his pen. Um, I tell you what, Kyle was... won't find these championship winners. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's Ain't not got it. it for, he's not got it for, for at least this coming week and next week because he'll be making the no take it off. It's not fair. He'll be making the quiz next week. Yeah, I look right. forward to it. I quite enjoyed being the the quiz master this week. I've won the most. So I'm still the technical champion. No, oh. Lenny, our champion. Thank you very much. Get your linear up your arse. That's what you are, if you're going by that. Greg is the undisputed. Yes. That makes sense. The undisputed. Um, come, come competition, really competition we do at the end of the podcast. Champion of the world. That make it really hard so you keep getting on. Super right. heavyweights. <laughs> right. Yeah, if you make it really hard, that's fine, because I'll need one correct answer. Right, it's just you getting it. Smashing. The 1920 Breaking City team. I'm going to revise. Yeah. I'm going to revise. Were well, Recon City formed in 1920? Didn't tell you. You should if know you... this. We're doing the 1920 Recon City team, so... 1920 Queen of the South team, they were. They were formed in 1906 Recon, so I could do that, I thought Please don't. You might. Right, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Yes, ta-da. Speed.